Hey, first grade, let's do our math lesson. We are in chapter four, lesson two. Think addition to subtract. Listen as I read the following problem. Joey had five cubes. Sarah gave him more cubes. Now, Joey has 12 cubes. How many cubes did Sarah give him? So in the top box, we are going to draw our addition. So I know that I have five cubes. Now I need to count on until I get to 12. So the first number I'm going to start with is six. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So let's look to see how many yellow cubes we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five plus seven equals 12. So down below, I am going to draw my five green. and my seven yellow. Twelve minus five. So I need to circle my five and cross them out. Twelve minus five would give me seven. Okay, let's go on and pra keep practicing. Look in the top purple box. What is nine minus four? Think, what number can I add to 4 to equal 9? 4 plus 5 equals 9. So, 9 minus 4 equals 5. Look at the bottom and let's practice. Number 1, what is 8 minus 6? Think, what number do I need to add to 6 to get 8? Two. Six plus two equals eight. So eight minus six equals two. Number two. What is eight minus four? Four plus blank equals eight. Four. So eight minus four equals four. Number three. What is ten minus four? Think, what number do I need to add to 4 to equal 10? 6. So that means 10 minus 4 equals 6. Number 4. What is 12 minus 6? Think, what number do I add to 6 to equal 12? 6. That's right, it's one of our doubles facts. So that means 12 minus 6 equals 6. Great job. Remember, you can always pause and play the video as needed. Look at our next page. Number 5. 8 minus 3 equals. Think, what number do I need to add to 3 to get 8? Let me count. I'm going to use cubes to count on. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's count how many cubes I drew. One, two, three, four, five. So three plus five equals eight, which means eight minus three equals five. Number six, nine minus five equals. Think, what number do I need to add to five to equal nine? Let me use cubes to count on. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many cubes did I draw? Four, great job. Five plus four equals nine. So nine minus five equals four. Look at number seven. 12 minus seven equals. So think, what number do I need to add to seven to equal 12? 
Let me draw cubes to count on. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Count with me to see how many cubes I drew. One, two, three, four, five. Seven plus five equals twelve. So twelve minus seven equals five. Look at number eight. Carol can use an addition sentence to write a subtraction sentence. Write a subtraction sentence she can solve using 6 plus 8 equals 14. Okay, you have two options. We could say 14 minus 6 equals 8 or... 14 minus 8 equals 6. Either one of those is correct. So, down at the bottom on number 9, it says write an addition sentence Carol can use to help her solve 13 minus 9. So, we know that 13 will be our answer, and we're adding a number to 9. What number do we need to add to 9? Count on with me. 10, 11, 12, 13. How many more do we count on? Four. Great job, friends. Let's look at our last page. There are 14 cats. Seven are black. The rest are yellow. How many yellow cats are there? So I need to write 14 minus 7 equals... What's my doubles fact for number three? the number 7. Right, 7 plus 7 equals 14. So how many yellow cats are there? 7. Number 11. I had some pencils. I gave four pencils away. Now I have two pencils. How many pencils did I start with? So, we don't know how many they started with, but we know that they gave away four, which means you're going to be taking away four. And they only had two left. What number did they start with? And to solve this, you could use addition. Four plus two equals six. So we know that 6 minus 4 equals 2. And she started off with 6 pencils. Sarah has 8 fewer flowers than Anne. Anne has 16 flowers. How many flowers did Sarah have? So we know that Anne has 16 flowers and Sarah has 8 fewer. So to figure that out, our subtraction sentence would say 16 minus 8 equals. I think there's a doubles fact involving 8 and 16. Right, 8 plus 8 equals 16. So Sarah has 8 flowers. Number 13, which addition sentence helps you solve 10 minus 7? So you need to see 10 and 7 in your sentence. 3 plus 4 equals 7. Do you see the number 10 and the number 7? No, me neither, so I'm going to cross it out. What about 5 plus 5 equals 10? No, me neither. What about 7 plus 3 equals 10? Oh, I heard a 7 and I heard a 10, but let's check our last answer just in case. Good job. I will see you guys later.